I too have a story to tell. It's a true story about a young boy called Michael. It starts 20 years ago when Michael was nine years of age and his school was going in to pray before the Blessed Sacrament. And as his class lined up in the porch of the church, the teachers said to him, to all of them, today we're going to pray for vocations to the priesthood. And Michael went into the church and he knelt down before the Blessed Sacrament and he knew instantly that it was to be him. For 15 years, Michael didn't tell anyone. But he did what St. Paul told him to do. He kindled the flame. In that instant, that afternoon, he had received a flame, tiny, tiny flame in a young heart. He didn't talk about it, didn't make a fuss, but he kept it. He said his prayers, lived a good life, went to university, treasuring that flame. Then he talked about it. And today, he's a young priest in this country, full of joy, full of vigor, full of enthusiasm, serving the Lord in a wonderful life because of that moment, 15 years earlier, before the Blessed Sacrament. Why did that happen there? What is it about being before the Blessed Sacrament that can touch us like that? Here, we will receive in our presence the sacrament of the eternal Word of God, as we heard, the Word through whom everything is made. So this sacrament is the secret heart of all creation, of all being. It is the Word made flesh, the Word through whom all things were made. And when you and I get to know that secret heart of creation, then we begin to see the created order in its beauty. When we see a sunrise and are filled with joy, you and I can know that that joy comes from God through His creative Word. When we see something in another person's eyes, we know that light comes from God. It is God's creative light in that other person. And Michael, kneeling before the Blessed Sacrament as a nine-year-old, was told about the secret heart of his life. And when he found it, and felt it, and heard it, and nurtured it, and followed it, then he lives, as Father Timothy was saying, with the fullness of joy in the Lord. At the beginning of the day, we were invited to listen for the word of the Lord, to listen to what he has to say to each of us. If you're still wondering what that might be, this is the moment to give your whole heart and attention to him who knows, who made us, who is the secret heart of our lives, that he will speak to us and show us the way. Also this morning we heard that when we get home tonight and when we put our head on our pillow, there are two things to ask. What did God say to me today? And how 
am I going to respond? We take not just the questions, but we pray the answers. And now the Lord will speak to us as we sit in His presence, His gaze upon us, revealing to us the secrets of our heart. Amen.